God bless you. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be reading, continue reading Revelation. We are in chapter 7. It has 17 verses. I'm going to read it all. If you want to grab your Bible and read it yourself, or you can just hear. Or you can read it later on. Okay, so in God's word says like that. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given the, to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed in hundred and forty and four thousand of all the three tribes of the children of Israel. Of the tribe of Judah were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Reuben were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Gad were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Asher were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Naphtali were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Anasis were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Simeon were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Levi were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Isashar were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Sabulon were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Joseph were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Benjamin were sealed 12,000. 12, After this I beheld and lo a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations and countries, and people and tongues, and stood before the throne, and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands, and cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God, which seated upon the throne and upon unto the Lamb. And all the angels stood round about the throne and about the elders and the four beasts and fell before the throne on their faces and worshiped God, saying, Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our God forever and ever. Amen. And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed in white robes? And whence came they? And I say unto him, Sir, to know. And he said to me, these are they which came out of great tribulation and have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore are they before the throne of God and serve him day and night in his temple and he that seated on the throne shall dwell among them. They shall hunger no more, neither thirst any more, neither shall the sun lie on them, nor any heat. For the Lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them, and shall lead them unto living fountains of waters, and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. How beautiful is God's word. Let's keep reading the Bible. That's how we're going to be re learning more about Him, about what's going on, about what's going to happen. I encourage you to keep reading. Praise the Lord. Trust God 
and believe in him all the time. He will never, never leave you alone. He always gonna be with you. I see you tomorrow. God bless you, you and your family. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done it yet. Give a like if you like it and share the video so someone can hear God's word. God bless you and have a great day. Bye now.